Enjoy the story by taking control of our tormented main character and guiding him to freedom. Uh. Continue the story from where you left off. Start from the beginning of the story. Simple nightmares will haunt our protagonist. Choose this if you'd like to play at a relaxed pace. Average nightmares will haunt our protagonist. Choose this if you'd enjoy a bit of a challenge. Frightening nightmares will haunt our protagonist. Choose this if you wish to hone your skills. In this mode, all blocks will be the usual size, recommended for those looking for traditional gameplay. Very well. Please enjoy the world of Catherine full body <laughs> to the fullest. Bodied wine is the best. Oh dear. <laughs> when the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse special feature. Do I see some new faces? Once again, your guide for the night is me, the Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine Full Body, the second coming of an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain curse has a terrifying and dramatic week. Oh, does that sound familiar? <laughs> well, like I said, this is Catherine, but with a fuller body. It's aged nicely, with a sensual flavor, not unlike a fine wine. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He is an earnest and kind man. But one day we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. Amidst the storm of temptations around him, he has another chance encounter. And an awfully cute one at that. But doesn't this seem a little... <laughs> convenient? Oh my, sounds like a recipe for disaster. Will Vincent be able to overcome the massive blocks in his life? Perhaps he'll take a road less traveled. <laughs> his outcome depends on you viewers sorry to keep you waiting raise the curtains it's time to savor the marriage of pleasure and pain now enjoy the show until we meet again
Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die? Are you fucking serious? The ground is collapsing beneath you. Hurry and climb to the top. Move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these things? You can grab onto a block with the X button and move it with the directional buttons. Some blocks can be moved, while others cannot, so be sure to experiment. If you make a mistake moving a block, you can press the L1 button to undo it. Alright, I got 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 it. These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean, they connect at the edges? Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it... Connecting blocks at their edges to make stairs is the key to successfully scaling the tower. Strive for the goal by creating a path step by step. I got it. Where is this? What is this ringing? 
we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec! When you hear the bell ringing, you'll know that you've almost reached the goal. Refer to the map located on the left side of the screen to see how much further you have to go. I got it. Edge. 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 I can get out through here. about to begin. I'll be sure to prepare something extra special for you behind the next door. Let's meet again tomorrow night. I look forward to it. I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay, I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. Listening? Uh, sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> so, are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like... Where you're in danger? No. No, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No. I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Oh, man. How long has it been? It's been so long I can't remember. Hmm. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just, my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh, 
She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled Hey, out. change it! The match is on! Oh, two beers over here! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? I know, what do you think? So? Who are you betting on? Come on, pick one! You kidding? Women's wrestling? What'd I know? Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but... Wow. You. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I, mean, I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single, too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Oh, how'd the interview go? <laughs> the boss seems like a really nice person. He said I could work here starting tomorrow. So everything's cool with you now? Mm-hmm. Way better. Hey, did old boss make any weird moves? Hey, Rin, come here! Uh, I'll see you later. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah, I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah, the mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit, no way! Maybe Will will wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream, but I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, oh, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, oh, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. Mm, see ya. Oh, 
hey, Erica. So, she managed to get the job, huh? Of course. I can't just abandon someone with amnesia, especially when they seem like such a good kid. And like Johnny said, there's this innocent cluelessness to Rin that oh, I just can't help caring about. Not to mention the whole stalker thing. Who would do that and why? Seems like even she doesn't know. Now how could that be? You should find out. Everything okay now? Yeah, I think so. I wanted to say thanks. Not just for saving me, but also for finding me a job and a place to stay. I was so scared. I couldn't remember anything. I'm so glad I met someone as nice as you, Vincent. It's nothing, really. Anyone would have done the same. Still, you saved me, Vincent. I start working here tomorrow, so I'll do my best to show you my appreciation. You got a mail. From time to time, you'll receive texts at the bar. You can respond to some. Give it a try. inner ideas a meter will be shown Vincent's words and actions will affect the story remember it Ugh. hey how many years have we been together marriage huh figure this would happen eventually but just change jobs I don't want to give her trouble out of the blue? It's not like her. You got a mail. friend, right? Yeah. Oh, it was a woman, just so you know. I think you knew her in high school. <laughs> it's okay. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. You have to go to work early tomorrow, right? Don't stay out too late. Good night. Ah, uh, it's late. Would you like to save your progress? here? 